In this video, shared by Dr. Philip Huber from Bern, Switzerland, we will discuss the surgical management of a complicated cataract surgery using the retropupillary fixation technique with the artisan lens. This is the case of a patient undergoing cataract surgery with posterior capsule rupture and nucleus luxation into the vitreous cavity. The surgeon begins the management with an anterior vitrectomy using the vitrector, aspirating the remaining cortex. Moving on to the posterior vitrectomy, core vitrectomy is initiated, and we notice the presence of the nucleus in the posterior pole. The surgeon decides to remove the lens fragments with the vitrector itself. To do this, it is necessary to reduce the vitrector cut to facilitate the removal of the fragments, and the illumination probe can be used as an auxiliary instrument. Since there was no support for intraocular lens implantation in the ciliary sulcus, the surgeon opts for retropupillary fixation of the artisan lens. The anterior chamber is filled with viscoelastic. A marking of 5.5 mm is made on the upper limbus, and a corneal blade is used to make a clear corneal incision, allowing the implantation of the artisan lens. Initially, the lens is placed over the iris. The lens is rotated 90 degrees. With the aid of the artisan lens implantation forceps, it is carefully positioned below the iris to later be enclaved with the needle. The enclavation is performed on both sides through the same corneal paracentesis. This is a very important step, as it is necessary to check the needle enclavation to ensure that the lens is adequately fixed behind the iris. We must also be careful to avoid iris herniation at this moment. Good positioning and stability of the lens are noted, and the cornea is sutured. After aspirating the viscoelastic, the surgeon performs a fluid air exchange, and the trocars are removed. We can observe a good postoperative result, with the intraocular lens well centered.